This is Malu. She is a young air nomad who enjoyed all of the normal things a child her age would, playing with her friends, enjoying the sights at the air temples, and learning from the monks. All of this was taken from her however when Fire Lord Sozin used the Great Comet to slaughter the air nomads and begin the 100 year war. But thanks to a brave sacrifice from her mother, Malu was able to survive the slaughter and seek revenge against those who killed her people. She soon became the Phantom of the Wind. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and let's get into her story. Malu was born to two loving airbender monks. Because Malu was a female, she was sent to live at the Eastern Air Temple with her mother. The Eastern Air Temple was the traditional home of female air nomads. She lived a normal childhood for most of her life and was happy to see her friends every day. But then, the dark day of the Fire Nation slaughter came. The Fire Nation reached the air temples and began to kill everyone they saw on sight using their enhanced firebending from the comet. During the chaos and panic, Malu's mother sacrificed herself to hide the young girl in a cave and keep her safe. Thankfully, this worked, and although her mother died soon after, Malu survived the entire raid, hidden away and shaking in the darkness. In the many cold and lonely years after this horrifying event, Malu lived alone, having no contact with any other human for fear they may try to kill her. During this time away from humanity, she managed to teach herself airbending. Even without an airbending master, she was able to master the art very quickly. This invaluable skill helped her to survive for many years alone. Around 10 years after the horrible events of the Fire Nation raid, Malu finally decided that she was ready to come out of hiding. She was ready to take revenge for the death of her mother and her people. At this point she started hiding out near Fire Nation army camps and executing ambush attacks on random targets, allowing rage to flow through her every time. As the attacks kept mounting, more and more rumors were being spread about them and she soon became a legend in Earth Kingdom villages as the Phantom of the Wind, the one who returned for revenge on the Fire Nation. Rumors even started to spread that she was able to control the spirits and vanish at will. After continuing these ambushes for years, Malu soon decided that enough was enough, and settled in the quaint mountain passes of the Earth Kingdom, vowing to protect the forests around her. From then on, Earth Kingdom villagers would visit her residence and pay tribute to the Phantom of the Wind for protecting both them and the forests. And that's the last that was ever heard of her. Malu's fate is currently unknown. So that is the story of the Air Nomad girl who came back for revenge on the Fire Nation. Thanks so much guys for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.